now the shipping forecast issued by the Met Office on behalf of the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency. The general synopsis at 0900. There are warnings of gales in Shannon, Rockall, Malin, Hebrides, Bailey, Fair Isle, Faroes and South East Iceland. The area forecasts for the next 24 hours. Viking, North Utsar, Dogger, North Easterly veering Easterly 3 or 4, slight or moderate. Fog patches later in South, good, becoming poor or very poor later in the South. Thames, Dover, White, North or Northeast 5 to 7, moderate or rough. Showers, fog patches, moderate, occasionally very poor. Portland, Plymouth, northerly 4 or 5, occasionally 6 in south, backing northwesterly later. Slight or moderate, showers, moderate or good. Tyne, Dogger, Fisher, German Bight, west or southwest, 5 to 7, decreasing 4 or 5, moderate or rough, occasional rain, moderate or good. This gauge of Hello. Hi, I'm Lucy, Lucy Farrington, pleased to meet you. This is the news. It's been a quiet week across Astrid. The, country, Astrid. Astrid. the world. In fact, it's proving to be the quietest summer in decades. The economy is buoyant and the Shadow Chancellor had little to say when probed about the ruling party. Have you worked here for long, Astrid? I don't work here, I'm a temp. The world is witnessing a period where there is no active conflict. The President of the United States called it proof that the war on terror has been a resounding success and said it was a cause Two for temps. celebration. Today there were reports of a lion in the Derbyshire countryside. Police are keeping an open mind. I wonder what they do here exactly. And crisps, the local escaped big cat expert, said that it was most likely escaped from What's that you're reading? It's a book. Very likely there will be more sightings. He says it should be taken very seriously as the danger to the Weird, no one's told us what to do. And we'll be speaking to the police later today. It's been a relaxed Do you know what we're supposed to do? As the country brings in its new Astrid. relaxation policy. A policy Astrid. Astrid, Susie, Lucy, whatever. Let me give you a little piece of advice. Now, if there's anything I've learned doing these silly little jobs, it's this. Do not offer any help to anyone. Keep your head down. Be invisible. And then maybe, just maybe, if we're lucky, we can leave here on time and get paid. Having done absolutely bugger all. More news later, but now, some music. <laughs> I don't know. Read a book. And news just in. A family of naturists were detained by the Yorkshire Constabulary after being caught wandering naked through a supermarket in Wakefield. The family were apprehended in the vegetable aisle. Whilst apparently squeezing the ready-to-eat avocados. The mother, Mrs. Jackson, Weird, refused to apologize. The case continues. Environmental news. A huge iceberg the size of Wales has broken away from the Greenland ice cap. 
News just in. A giant tsunami has just hit Western Australia. The wave is currently racing through Perth, causing widespread devastation. Cars are being thrown about oh, like no, toys. People desperately air. seeking high ground and safety. Bridges have been ripped apart. All over the city, emergency services just are attempting to help. It. More news. There has been huge seismic activity across the globe. Cities in Europe, America, and the Middle East have all witnessed earthquakes with Listen. possible catastrophic consequences. First estimations put the magnitude in excess of nine on the Richter scale. World leaders and aid organizations are attempting to develop Listen. a plan for this unprecedented event. It has been described as a disaster of biblical proportions. Aftershocks are already being reported in Paris, New York, London, and Madrid, but it seems nowhere is okay, currently we'll go, safe. We'll get out. There are now reports of hurricane-strength winds on the eastern seaboard of the United States. It would seem to be developing into a massive supercell. Manhattan is in its path, and buildings have been reported to have been literally knocked over by the rampaging gusts. <gasps> Weather of this kind is seen in living memory. Citizens of New York are being advised to stay indoors, in basements, and in subways. Hey, Astrid, look. Don't. This extraordinary chain of events has had disastrous effects on the financial markets across the world. The U.S. has suffered huge downward trends, with the Dow Jones experiencing its biggest Stop it. drop in history. Stop it! Rioting is spreading as people take to the streets to complain that the authorities aren't doing enough to help stricken families. A cold spell has descended across Europe with the heaviest snow on record. An avalanche wipes out a village in the Costa del Sol. Holiday makers are about to switch swimwear for coats and gloves, and the sea is beginning to freeze over where children swam just hours ago. Stop, stop News just in. A bomb psycho. has exploded in Nottingham. Stop. It's speculated that a terrorist organization is behind the act. There have been warnings of more potential explosions across the British Isles. Cities named include Stoke-on-Trent, Derby, Durham and Glasgow. A plane in trouble over New York has crashed in Central Park. Casualties are expected to reach well over 100. No, sorry, just one casualty reported. A skateboarding squirrel called Mo Funk, something of a celebrity in the park. In Ecuador, we have reports that miners have been trapped due to a mine shaft collapse. Emergency services are on the scene and have miraculously already accounted for all the miners. A swine flu outbreak across Asia has been hailed as a potential pandemic of epic proportions and is set to kill the... Oh, um, news just in. A new super vaccine has been developed and is to be made available for all immediately. Boring! Nations are still reeling across the world as the aftermath thing, I of swear today's to God. extraordinary events causes widespread havoc. There is a spirit slowly but surely building. Volunteers in every country gathering together, joining forces, doing their best in these incredibly difficult times to make a difference. What are you doing, Lucy? Put Breaking it down. News. Recent put it tensions down, in the Middle East have escalated today as proof of weapons-grade plutonium has been brought to light. <laughs> it would seem that the saber waving has finally come to a head, and a preemptive nuclear strike could be <laughs> only moments away. I love this. The international community are doing their best to appease the nations, but are finding it hard to reach an agreement on the approach. The United Nations has shown itself to be toothless in the face of the terror. Reports are coming in, but missiles are in the air. God help us all. Hello, Lucy speaking.
Oh, yes. Yes, I understand. Okay, bye. Astrid? Do you know who signs our timesheets? Now the shipping forecast issued by the Met Office on behalf of the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency. The general synopsis at 0900. There are warnings of gales in Shannon, Rockall, Malin, Hebrides, Bailey, Fair Isle, Faroes and South East Iceland. The area forecasts for the next 24 hours. Viking, North Upside, Dogger. The time is 9 o'clock. This is the news.